The quest for our second shiny Larvesta continues in Ikea. And let me tell you, this place is magical. I love Ikea, which is a weird thing to say. I never thought I'd ever say anything like that. Anyways, though, we're hunting that shiny Larvesta. We've got two more eggs. Let's see what we get out of this thing. Maybe we'll get lucky, but that's a Magby. And how about this one right here? No, another Magby. The journey in Ikea continues with a 10 kilometer egg. We're not getting a lot of distance in here, but we're getting some. This one has a char cadet. And it's a 407. That's kind of fun. 15, 11, 14. Our journey in Ikea. Kia is almost over, but we do have ourselves four eggs. So let's see what we get from uh, this one, Larvesta. Awesome. Hopefully one of these will be a shiny Larvesta, but we got ourselves a Char Cadet. Two more chances though. Let's see what we get. This one is another Larvesta. That's crazy. And then this last one is a Litwick. Oh man, like three out of four of those eggs were amazing, but unfortunately the IVs and all these are pretty bad. Just take a quick scan through. Yeah, nothing too crazy. We've now made our way into a home goods store with more eggs. Let's see if we get a shiny in here. This one is a Litleo. Apparently those are boosted, but I have yet to see one. How about this though? Larvesta. On the upside, we're seeing a lot of Larvestas, which is pretty cool. Downside is they're all terrible. Four more twos now that we've left all these stores. What do we got with this one? A Magby. Number two is a Slug. How about this third one? It's a dog. And then last but not least, we got ourselves a, a, another different dog. I will say that we've only hatched so, a little bit of eggs, not that many, and we've already hatched three Larvestas. That's pretty good. Two tens. Let's see what happens with these. Aha, target that. Not surprising in the slightest, seeing that that seems to be the only thing that comes out of these. Yep, there's another one. But did we get the 418? Because that's the Hondo. Nope, 403 and 402. And now we're out on a foot grind for a little bit. I was helping out some friends with some stuff. That's why I was out and about in all these places. But before we get to egg hatches, I do have this time to research for the score steps. I completely forgot I had this, so let's just claim all this stuff. I don't even know what I had to do in order to complete these, but we get a Slugma here. Apparently Slugma and Litleo can also be shiny boosted from the research as well. They're not just shiny boosted from eggs, so maybe we'll get lucky with one of these things. Number two, what will you be? Litleo probably? Yep, I was right. We got a 586. I don't think that's very good. I think you want to be in like the low 600s. I don't know if any of you have noticed this, and let me know in the comments down below if you have, but researchers seem to be like loading in pretty slowly. There we go. Loaded in just fine like as I click on the encounter but like the actual you know clicking on the research tab takes forever to load nowadays. Alrighty what about this one? What are you gonna be? You are another Litleo. Cool. 606. That's actually pretty up there. That's awesome. For fun we'll take a look at this one. It is wow 96. Nice. And this will be our last encounter on this little thing. It's a Slugma. Cool. 373. And for the final rewards we get 1500 dust. We get ourselves the 2000 XP and we get an encounter with a Turtonator that is a 933. We want Want 952 for a hundo. I already have a few hundos of this, but it would be great to get a shundo of this thing. Well, now that we're done with all that, it's time to hatch these eggs, and we already got some twos that are about to do it. Fingers crossed we get that second shiny Larvesta so we can just be done with the set. Two twos, and luckily I'm next to some stops, but we got ourselves a Schlugma. And number two is a Growlithe. Not the best thing ever, but whatever. Let's just spin these real quick and get some more eggs back. We get a two and a five. And I think I saw we just got ourselves a Turnator quest completed, so let's click on it and see what we get. It's not a shiny and a 947 that has to be like a 98 two more two kilometer eggs what do we get from these two a magby we've hatched three of those shinies this event i hopefully won't get any more of those <laughs> and there's another one four more five kilometer eggs these eggs did give me the shiny larvesta so i have a good soft place in my heart for it but that is a litleo what's number three another litleo and here's the last one we get ourselves a growl of cool i think we definitely blew through a bit of our luck early on but i'm not complaining we still have had a pretty good time this is a male this actually pretty good. Ah, oh, jeez. I really want to get the hundo male, but it's so hard to get because it's like a one in eight rate of getting a male. A single two. But what will you have? A oh, slugma. Okay. I've really wanted to run into one of these, and now we finally have a shiny wild slowbro. The reason why you can find this shiny in the wild is because this slowbro has a mega evolution, so that's why you're able to see it. But that is so cool. I'm so glad that I finally got to see that. Like, I've seen so many slowbros, and I've been wanting to see this one. And now we officially have, which just feels fantastic. And maybe, just maybe, it's a good one. I wouldn't mind a good one for the Mega, so yeah, not even close. 053, but not a huge deal. It's still a wild evolution shiny, and that's awesome. Got this 10 kilometer egg after that shiny slow bro, and it's a shiny Turtonator. All right. 1242 as well. That's up there. It's 121414. 14. It's not as good as I thought it would be, but that doesn't matter. That is an awesome shiny. Love
love the fact that we get to see the sparkles and everything too, you know? Because I think I hatched this way back during the Tainan Safari Zone and we didn't have the sparkles. And it looked cool, but could have looked a lot better with those sparkles. Five five kilometer eggs. Feels good to get big batches, you know what I mean? Number one is a Litlia. Let's see what number two gives us. Another Litlia. Egg number three is another Litlia. What about number four? Are you a Lit Leo? Yes, you are. And the final egg. All right, we break it up a little bit. And unfortunately, none of these Lit Leos look that great, but this Growlithe isn't bad. This one's pretty close to the hundo. Yeah, 93. Two more 10 kilometer eggs. What do we get? A Turtonator yet again. And egg number two is another Turtonator. Wow, surprisingly no Charcadet. Not that I'm complaining, of course, but you know, we've been seeing so many. Two twos. What do we get from these? A Schlug. And the second one is a Growlithe. Three fives. What are we gonna get? A Larvesta. I love to see it. Number two is a Lit Leo. And this last one is a Hisuian Growlithe. And the Larvesta is an 832 as well. So it's a 13, 15, 10. A singular two kilometer egg. It's gonna be amazing. Or not. It had a boosted chance, I guess. 475 is not great at all. Keeping with the small batches, we got two tens here. What are we gonna get from this one though? Charcadet. Not at all surprising, but you know, it is what it is. Hopefully we'll get that hundo. And well, there's two chances at it. But neither one of them for sure. They're all in the 300s. Two fives. What are these gonna have? A Litwick. And the last one is a Daramaka. Three tens this time. We got a Charcadet. Ten number two is a Turtonator. Let's get one of each of them. UBL Larvesta, but shiny. No, okay. We got ourselves another Charcadet. And none of them are that good at all. And now we've got three twos. Let's see if these twos can be a little better, but that's not a great start. How about this two? No, Slug. And number three is a different dog. We've got a single ten yet again, but what will you have inside of you? a Turtonator. And not a very good Turtonator, unfortunately. Five more 5Ks. Yet another big batch, but will it have anything good? We got a Litwick. Four more chances with a Lit Leo. Well, that's this one gonna be. Another Lit Leo. This one is another Litwick. A lot of Lit Eggs, but this last one is a Growlithe. Okay. Yet another single 10-kilometer egg. This one's got a Charcadet again. 406 isn't bad, though. Still not quite the hundo. Singular 2-kilometer egg. Let's see what happens with this one. It's a Magby. Two tens and three fives. That looks beautiful, as well as that Turtonator. Let's see what this five has for us. It has a Lit Leo. Come on, ten. Have something. Larvesta E. Nope, just another Turtonator. What about this one? It is a Hisuian Growlithe. And last but not least, we've got ourselves a Litwick. Yet another singular ten. This one's got a Char Cadet. Who's surprised? 403 as well. At least it's in the 400s. I was not paying attention to this whatsoever. I don't even remember clicking on this, but hey, shiny Poliwag. Always down to get shinies. I mean, I honestly, these eggs have been somewhat bad for us today. I mean, we did get that Turtonator, which is pretty awesome, but like out of everything, still a little drier than I thought we would be today, but it is what it is. We're getting some good wild ones at least. Like this Shunda right here, 225. Well, I mean, it was making its way. 14, 9, 13. Not bad at all. And after that Poliwag, we have a single two, and this two has a Growlithe. Three fives and two tens. Hopefully these will have something good in them, but that's a Litwick. Moving on to the 10 here, we're gonna have ourselves a Char Cadet. 10 number two is another Char Cadet. This little five is gonna be a Lit Leo. And this is our last egg of this batch. What are we getting? Another Lit Leo. And here's a single five that should have been in that last batch, but whatever, it's a Hisuian Growlithe. Three 2Ks we've got, and this one is a Slug. Number two is a Doki. Haven't seen a Larvesta in a little bit, so that's not it, okay. And also, apparently I got first place in all my showcases, which is fantastic. So let's claim all of these wonderful rewards, which you get some good stuff for these showcases. I'm really happy with everything you get. And if we look at my showcase medal real quick, we are at 85 wins, only 15 more, and we get that PhD Pikachu. Hopefully we get there fast, but honestly, these ones were rough. Four more fives, and I'm starting to get tired. I'm still a little wiped out from the first, you know, adventure we had for Larvesta. So we're gonna be heading home relatively soon, but we're gonna keep hatching eggs, because of course, you never know, we could get something on on the way over, but we keep getting Litwicks. This last egg though, this one has a Larvesta in it. No, it doesn't, all right. I was just on a phone call and I hatched a few eggs. In fact, I think I got three of them. I think I got a Char Cadet, a Larvesta, and a Slugma. And now we've got six different eggs. And the reason why they're all different is because I turned off the game while I was on the phone because I wanted to record these in front of you guys. So Adventure Sync just had them all stack up, which feels great. But we're starting off with the 10 and it's a Char Cadet, no surprise there. The two is going to be a Growlithe. The third egg is a Larvesta. That's 
great. Back to a five. We get ourselves a Lilio. This two is gonna be, oh, shiny, yes! We finished the set, ladies and gentlemen. Shiny Larvesta, number two, followed up by a Litwick. Oh my God, I can't believe it. And this one's better. We got ourselves an 834. This one is a 12, 14, 14. God, I can't believe we just pulled that off. I am so happy right now. And we are officially done. That's a great, you know what? I'm gonna walk home now, and if we hatch anything else amazing, I'll show you, but I mean, we did it, we're done. I almost completely forgot to show you guys what number we're at when it comes down to Larvesta. We're at 56, and we started off at 28 of them. So that means we've gotten two shiny Larvestas and 28 Larvesta hatches, which is ridiculous. People are saying it's perma-boosted, and it might be one in 50 to one in 64. It could be a little better. I mean, my odds are literally two of them in 28 hatches. That's ridiculously good. And who knows, on the way home, we might get more. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are officially at the end of the grind, but I'm happy to say we're done with the shiny Larvesta family. We got two of them. We've got this one today, which is pretty all right. It is a 12, 14, 14. And then we've got this one right here, which is a 12, 11, 11. And part of me wants to wait to lucky reroll them to evolve them, but there's one thing I've wanted to do for the longest time, and I've just been waiting and waiting and waiting, and I kind of just want to do it now. Let's evolve this Larvesta right here into Volcarona. This will be my Pokedex Volcarona. I don't have one of these yet. And I've been waiting this long because this is the last Pokemon I need for the Gen 5 Dex to be complete to get my Platinum Metal. And, you know, I thought it would be fun. Let's get a shiny Dex entry for Volcarona. So, there it is. Shiny Volcarona, which looks amazing. And by the way, if I have any friends that have a Volcarona or Larvesta and they want to lucky reroll them, please, let's do it. But look at that Dex entry. That is amazing. And it just looks so good. And I'm sure it'll look really good with a lucky background. So again, if any of my friends that are lucky with me gets this thing, I will do a one-for-one one reroll on the Larvesta and the Volcarona, but it'll have to be for each one of them. There we go. We're almost done with the Gen 5 Shiny Living decks. As you can see, we have 143 Shinies in here, and that includes forms as well. We've got all the starters, and we've just gone crazy. Literally, the only thing that we're missing right now is Sandile. I do technically have one that I got in a lucky trade, but I don't count that one yet because I haven't gotten one on my own. But after that family's done, I'll have every single Gen 5 Shiny Pokemon currently in the game, especially now that we have this Larvesta in Volcarona done. Again, I just am so glad that we got this, and it looks so good. And there we go, our Platinum Unova Medal in Pokemon Go. Man, I can't tell you how happy I am I finally got this thing. I've been holding off for so long. I was like, if I either got a Hundo or the Shiny, that's what I was gonna do it, but I'm glad that we officially have it done. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for me. Show me some love. I mean, come on, we just completed one of the hardest Shiny families in all of Pokemon Go. And let me know in the comments down below, have you been lucky enough to get one of these Shiny Larvestas yet? If you have, tell me how good it is. And if you're really enjoying the content and you want to see even more of it, I highly suggest this video over here. But with that being said, I'm going to pass out.